Prolonged Grief Disorder Prolonged grief disorder is a disturbance in which, following the death of a partner, parent, child, or other person close to the bereaved, there is persistent and pervasive grief response characterized by longing for the deceased or persistent preoccupation with the deceased accompanied by intense emotional pain. For example, sadness, guilt, anger, denial, blame, difficulty accepting the death, feeling one has lost a part of oneself, an inability to experience positive mood, emotional numbness, difficulty in engaging with social or other activities. The grief response has persisted for an atypically long period of time following the loss, more than six months at a minimum, and clearly exceeds expected social, cultural or religious norms for the individual's culture and context. The disturbance causes significant functional impairment. Diagnostic Requirements of Prolonged Grief Disorder 1. History of bereavement following the death of a partner, parent, child, or other person close to the bereaved. 2. A persistent and pervasive grief response characterized by longing for the deceased or persistent preoccupation with the deceased accompanied by intense emotional pain. This may be manifested by experiences such as sadness, guilt, anger, denial, blame, difficulty accepting the death, feeling one has lost a part of oneself, an inability to experience positive mood, emotional numbness, and difficulty in engaging with social or other activities. 3. The pervasive grief response has persisted for an atypically long period of time following the loss, markedly exceeding expected social, cultural or religious norms for the individual's culture and context. 4. Grief responses lasting for less than six months, and for longer periods in some cultural contexts, should not be regarded as meeting this requirement. 5. The disturbance results in significant impairment in personal, family, social, educational, occupational or other important areas of functioning. If functioning is maintained, it is only through significant additional effort. 6. Additional clinical features prolonged grief disorder. Persistent preoccupation may focus on the circumstances of the death or manifest as behaviors such as the preservation of all of the deceased person's belongings exactly as they were before their death. The individual may alternate between excessive preoccupation and avoidance of reminders of the deceased. Other features of prolonged grief disorder may include problems coping without the loved one, difficulties in recalling positive memories of the deceased, difficulty trusting others, social withdrawal, and the feeling that life is meaningless. Increased tobacco, alcohol, and other substance use, as well as increased suicidal ideation and behavior may be present. Boundary with normality. Normal grief reaction. An individual experiencing a grief reaction that is within a normative period given their cultural and religious context is considered to be experiencing normal bereavement and should not be assigned a diagnosis of prolonged grief disorder. It is often important to consider whether other people who share the bereaved person's cultural or religious perspective, e.g., family, friends, community, regard the response to the loss or duration of the reaction as abnormal. Children and adolescents may respond to the loss of a primary attachment figure, e.g., a parent or caregiver, with an intense and sustained grief response, e.g., greater in intensity, symptomatology, duration, because of the role these individuals play in the child's life. Preschool-age children commonly have difficulty accepting the loss. Aspects of the grief response may be re-triggered at various points during the individual's development, for example as new needs arise that would normally be supplied by the parent or caregiver. Generally, these reactions should be regarded as normal and the diagnosis of prolonged grief disorder should be assigned with caution to children and adolescents in this situation. 
Developmental Presentations Prolonged grief disorder can occur at all ages, but the grief response can differ depending on the age and developmental stage and thus on age-specific concepts of death. Children often do not explicitly describe the experience of longing for the deceased or persistent preoccupation with the death of a loved one. These symptoms may be more likely to manifest behaviorally such as in play or in other behaviors involving themes of separation or death. Other behavioral expressions of longing can include waiting for the deceased person to return or returning to places where they last saw the deceased. Some children may develop a fearful preoccupation that others may die, magical thinking, as well as separation anxiety centering on worries about their caregiver's welfare and safety. In younger children, intense sadness or emotional pain may emerge intermittently with seemingly appropriate moods. Anger related to the loss may be exhibited in children and adolescents as irritability, protest behavior, tantrums, oppositional behavior or conduct problems. Various contextual factors can influence symptoms related to the death of a loved one in children. For example, delayed onset or worsening of symptoms may occur in response to a change to a child or adolescent's social environment, degree of coping of parents or caregivers with the loss, and family communication. In older adults, prolonged grief disorder may manifest as enduring depression with the feeling one has lost a part of oneself and accentuated feelings of emptiness. Feelings of being stunned and dazed over the loss are common. A preoccupation with somatic complaints is often found to be the primary sign of distress at this developmental stage. Culture-related features Cultural practices varies in terms of Emotional expressions of grief Rituals and practices for managing the grief Modes of commemorating the deceased Concepts of an afterlife Stigma associated with certain types of death, for example, suicide or situations that may be especially traumatic, for example, death of a child. This variation may contribute to the likelihood of experiencing prolonged grief reactions and the range of symptoms and clinical presentations. Cultural groups vary regarding the normative duration of grief reactions. Among some groups, prescribed grief reactions may last for one year or even be postponed until the first anniversary. Among others, rituals or ceremonies are expected to prompt negative emotions related to loss, and formal grieving periods are relatively short. It is often important to consider whether other people who share the bereaved person's cultural or religious perspective, e.g., family, friends, community, regard the response to the loss or duration of the reaction as abnormal. In some cultural or religious traditions, death is not seen as the cessation of life, but as an important transition to another form of existence. Such cultural beliefs may focus on karma, rebirth, heaven, hell, purgatory, or other transitions into the afterlife. Prolonged grief may be caused by concern about the status of the deceased in the afterlife. Culturally specific rituals and yearly celebrations may aim to assure the auspicious spiritual status of the deceased. Prolonged grief may be associated with concern about the status of the deceased in the afterlife. Encounters with the deceased may vary greatly across cultures. For example, in some societies, any waking encounter with the deceased is considered abnormal. By contrast, it is common in many Southern European and Latin American societies to receive visitations from deceased relatives soon after their death, which may be comforting to the bereaved. Other groups, e.g., some American Indians, may encounter the deceased in dreams, with a variety of interpretations. Among Cambodians, for example, having dreams of the deceased may be highly upsetting, indicating that rebirth has not occurred. Sex and or gender-related features 
prolonged grief disorder is more prevalent in females. Boundaries with other disorders and conditions, differential diagnosis, post-traumatic stress disorder, depressive episode. Thanks for watching.